Hello class 10 today i am starting with the female reproductive system now i hope there are no problems regarding the previous part of this chapter now female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries a pair of oviducts the sac like structure which is known as uterus a vagina and vul vulva now ovaries are small ovoid bodies their peripheral part produces ova or the eggs normally only one egg matures in each ovary every alternate month this thing is a very important part because you need to know when we are uh, will go to the menstrual cycle part there you will understand why is it so important to know about it a maturing egg contained in a cellular sac is called the follicle as the egg grows larger the follicle also enlarges and gets filled with a fluid and is now called the graafian follicle so what is a follicle it is the sac in which the matured egg is contained and what is a graafian follicle graafian follicle is that follicle which is a matured one enlarged one and is filled up with a fluid when ripe the follicle bulges over the surface of the ovary and oogenesis is the process in which the ova producing cells give rise to the mature ovum so uh, we have read about the spermatogenesis in the previous class now this one is the oogenesis now what is ovulation it is a rupture of the follicle releasing the egg and the released egg is picked up by the fimbria or cilia of the oviducal funnel of the oviduct i'll come to the diagram and i'll explain it the remnant of the follicle persists for some time to convert into a yellow mass called corpus luteum now this corpus luteum is a very very important structure because you know it's the actually is a remnant part of the follicle it is actually not a structure which was always there it is formed when the follicle is rupturing the graafian follicle is rupturing and the remnant part left over is known as corpus luteum now why is it so important because corpus luteum is secreting two hormones what are those hormones estrogen and progesterone estrogen is secreted by the follicle prior to ovulation that is before ovulation and another one is progesterone now let me tell you first which are the structures which are very important first of all this number a number a is also very important students because actually speaking all the three diagrams are very important for the labelings maybe they will not give you for diagram i mean for drawing the diagram but labeling is very much important from this chapter as earlier i have said you and also uh, the labelings are very important and all the three structures are important and it will definitely come because this chapter is also important for your icc clear now first of all let me explain the structure of the first diagram as you can see uh, the fallopian tubes are there these are the fallopian tubes okay this is the pear shaped uterus where the baby is carried for 9 months and actually 9 months 10 days now this is the vagina this is the cervix this is the uterus lining or the muscular uterine wall which we call as endometrium now here this part is very important students because as you can see it's a very minute structure this is the ovary which is hanging down and it is consisting of you know the yellow structures are the follicles and this part is the oviduct and this is the funnel of oviduct oviducal funnel and as you can see the finger like processes i hope you can see it very clearly this finger like processes or the projections are known as fimbri fimbri actually this fimbri has got a very important function it is helping here to carry or rather you can say to hold the ovum which is being discharged from the ovary and it is just picking it up and allowing it to travel towards the oviduct where the fertilization occurs okay we'll come to that now this structure is also very important is the lateral view of the 
female reproductive system and this is the schematic diagram actually this one so all the diagrams are important so you need to go through all the diagrams okay now oviduct also known as fallopian tube or uterine tubes are about 12 centimeter long and it has got the oviducal funnel and cilia lining the funnel help to pick up and push the released ovum into the oviduct subsequently the waves of muscular contractions we call it as peristalsis of the wall of the oviduct push the egg down into the uterus uterus is a hollow pear shaped muscular organ what is the location between the urinary bladder and the rectum this you have to remember because it may come in your exact location and function it has two regions upper wider and small lower vagina is a muscular tube starting from the lower end of the uterus up to the outside the vagina receives the male penis during copulation now again one thing you need to know the opening of the vagina in young females is partially closed by a thin membrane called hymen okay vulva the external female genitalia is called the vulva it contains independent openings of the urethra and vagina the sides of the vulva have two small fleshy folds the labia minora and the labia majora clear yeah? now role of hormones in reproduction the ovaries of a young girl start functioning around the age of 10 to 14 years and that stage of her life is known as puberty the hormones which are secreted are estrogens which is also responsible for bringing about the bodily changes which we call as secondary sexual characteristics okay in boys also puberty takes place around the age of 11 to 15 years of age when the testes is start producing testosterone which is again helping in the development of the secondary sexual characteristics in this green box we are seeing the definition of puberty you will learn it now regarding this menstrual cycle you need to know first of all what is menarche and what is menopause menarche is the onset of menstruation in a young female at the, at the age of about 13 years and menopause is the permanent stoppage of menstruation in females at about the age of 45 years okay and this period is marked by a characteristic event repeated almost every month in the form of a menstrual flow it may be temporarily stopped only by pregnancy now there are four phases in this 28 day cycle menstrual phase follicular phase ovulatory phase luteal phase menstrual phase lasts for three to five days during which blood is discharged the bleeding is caused due to the shedding of uterine lining rupturing the blood vessels okay next is follicular phase now follicular phase from the name itself we can understand is the follicle grows the estrogen is produced it increases its quantity and this hormone then acts on the uterus causes the lining thickening and develop more blood vessels this change is a kind of preparation of the uterus to receive the fertilized egg and assist in the early implantation of the embryo and its subsequent development okay ovulatory phase on about the 13th or 14th day the follicle ruptures this is a very important phase because it is known as ovulation it is a rupturing of the follicle and the released egg travels down the oviduct the two hormones produced by the pituitary gland fsh and lh full form follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone both of them promote the maturation and release of the ovum luteal phase it lasts from 15 to 28 days uterine lining thickens further and after the release of the ovum the emptied follicle turns itself into corpus luteum now a very important part of this if the ovum is fertilized the corpus luteum continues to release progesterone and so keeps the uterus in a stable suitable in a state suitable for implantation in a stable form okay however if on the other hand there is no fertilization then what will happen the ovum will disintegrate and the corpus luteum stops producing progesterone as a result the thickened lining of the uterus restarts shedding on the 28th day and 
loses blood which escapes through the cervix and vagina this chart in the blue box is very important please go through it then it you will you know it will help you to remember what will happen if it is fertilized what will happen if it is unfertilized clear okay students today up to this next day again i'll move on with the next topic of this chapter okay if any problem please ask me in the comment box thank you